Hello, welcome to Ollie's Repairs. Today we'll be fixing the dynamic oil pressure sensing system in a VW Cabriolet. This repair is also going to be similar in Mark II Golfs from the similar generation. The way that you usually figure out if you have an issue with the dynamic oil pressure sensing circuit is if you have a blinking light, light on the dash, your oil pressure light as you can see here, the red one, that's blinking and it's been blinking for a while or you bought the car that way and the car is still running. So what does that mean? Well, it usually means that a component uh, one of the sensors for the oil pressure is damaged as opposed to the oil pump. And the reason we know that the oil pump probably isn't damaged is because you are still successfully driving the car. A car with a broken oil pump will not run for very long at all. Just because your oil light has been blinking and it's a common problem for your oil light to be blinking does not mean while you're driving, if the light comes on, that you shouldn't pull over. These cars, even though the system is known to not be ideal, it's still a, a red light that indicates that there's a chance that there's a problem with the oil pressure. Immediately shut the engine off and pull over and then you can start with the diagnosis. The symptom this vehicle is having is a blinking oil pressure light at higher RPM. Depending what your issue is, you might need some different tools, but generally you're going to need a wire to ground out your circuit, a new pressure sensor to replace the one that's broken, a torque wrench, socket, and maybe even some wrenches. The first gauge that we have is going to be this temperature sensor, which is this green wire mounted on the oil filter here. If you unplug it, the gauge, the temperature gauge should read zero. If you ground it on this housing here, the gauge should spike. If it does that, then we know that the sensor, everything works and we just have to replace the sensor. Starting with the oil pressure, the next thing that we have is this canister right here. This actually contains two sensors in one. So first, we have this blue and yellow wire right here. And this one goes to a, this is a variable resistor inside of here, which goes to your pressure gauge in the vehicle. So if you unplug it, then the gauge should peg. And if you ground it, the gauge should read zero. The next part of this canister is this yellow wire right here, which is a low pressure switch to your vehicle. So the way this works is you have power coming from the battery, flowing into your instrument cluster and your oil pressure circuit, and this yellow wire will effectively ground it out. So if the oil pressure is below 0.3 bar, the gauge is closed, effectively grounding out the circuit, making your oil pressure light blink as it is right now. If we unplug the wire, the light should stop blinking, which means that the gauge has opened, or we've unplugged it, but when it's running, it's open. If I now ground this sensor out, we should see that the oil pressure light is blinking again. If your vehicle passed that test, then we know that the, pre that the issue most likely lies with the high pressure sensor. The last pressure sensor that we have on this vehicle is this high pressure sensor, which is this blue wire right here. This sensor is set to close at 1.8 bar. The circuitry inside the instrument cluster and in the vehicle is set that if the vehicle is running over 2000 RPM and this sensor hasn't closed yet, then the oil pressure light will start blinking. And that's actually the symptom that we had with this vehicle. So now we'll start the vehicle and you can see the symptoms inside when we disconnect this wire. Starten? Und ich will Yep. Now we will unplug this wire, which effectively now will make sure that the gauge never closes. And now he will rev the engine above 2000 RPM for two seconds. As you can see, the oil pressure light is starting to blink because the gauge never closed. Shut the vehicle off. Now we will repeat the same test with this wire grounded. Okay, start the vehicle and rev it to above 2000 for two seconds. As you can see now, the oil pressure light never came on because the sensor was grounded the whole time, 
faking the system into thinking that the switch closed at 1.8 bar. How shatten? With this diagnosis, we figured out that we have a bad high pressure sensor, which we will now replace. We'll use a 24 millimeter socket to crack the sensor loose. Here we have a replacement. Torque it to 18 foot pounds or 25 Newton meters. Don't forget to connect your sensor wire. And then slide the little cover back in place. And now for the final test. Okay, we can see the oil pressure light is blinking with the vehicle on run, now we'll start it. Oil pressure light turned off as is expected because the low pressure sensor is working. Now we'll rev the vehicle over 2000 for more than two seconds. All right, and you can see the oil pressure light did not come on indicating that replacing the high pressure sw switch or sensor actually fixed our issue. Today on all these repairs, we discussed the diagnosis of an oil pressure light that came on on the dash. We ended up talking about the dynamic oil pressure system and we diagnosed the high pressure switch to be the faulty one. Do not drive around if the red blinking light for the oil pressure is coming on. This is an indication that sometimes can be faulty, but if not taken seriously, can be resulting in the death of an engine. I know someone right now who's rebuilt an engine because he drove around with this indication on. Thanks for watching another episode of Ollie's Repairs. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment for more.